How oh, you like my blink, man? Bet you can't do that. You know, you can't do anything at all anymore. Well, welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to get back into some questing, and I'm also going to show you uh, three potential locations for our next base. Um, so let's see, a couple things to get you updated on. Um, I could not, for the life of me, find my my fell wisp wyvern head. Uh, you guys did see me defeat that monster a few episodes ago, but I have no idea what I did with the head. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I had to go back and kill it again, which I was able to do. Um, and, you know, to get another one so I could put, put that up because I wanted to put it up there, you know, A, because it's cool, and B, because it gives us more comfort. Speaking of which, our current comfort level is now uh, 38. So I get uh, a total of 43 minutes of rested bonus. Um, I did put in uh, the nicer bed up here and a carpet, but I haven't really done a whole lot more because at some point later on, uh, fairly soon, I think we'll do a, an in, another interior decorating episode. Um, but uh, yeah, so I did that. I am still specced with the mining skills, and so I took, uh, I took some time uh, and just mined up a whole bunch of resources. So as you can see here, I've got several full stacks of copper. Um, plus several uh, smelted stacks of copper and uh, s some more, yeah, some more going on in there. I have uh, farmed up a whole mess of, of um, twigs here and a, a few stacks of uh, wood. And we also have, we also have clay. I thought I had a bunch of clay. What did I do with all my clay? Mm, it's in one of these one of these places there it is yeah so I've got several stacks of clay too because I wanted to take the time and um, you know do that before I respect while I still had the mining skills uh, so that's what we're going to do first is we're gonna actually do go ahead and do a respect I guess I well no I could be I should be able to do that from here so uh, and I've also leveled a couple more times too from all the mining that I have done so let's completely reset our skill points and we'll go on into the skill tree and uh, we're going to go uh, back up, you know, through the ranger tree first, and then we'll see what we have uh, to work with after that. So we'll do, of course, dexterity. Uh, we'll do marksman. We will do... Uh, I don't actually want eagle eye. I just don't s find that to be uh, super useful. Uh, we want sharpshooter. All range damage increased by additional 20%. That's, a, that's big. 50% uh, damage to ranged enemies. We'll take that. Uh, Eagle's Bane, flying enemies, we'll take that. Skill shot, all damage dealt to an enemy's head is increased by 20%. Uh, we want multi shot. We want Ranger. And I think we're going to hold off on Bee Sting. Okay, so that gets us almost everything into the Ranger tree except for, for this. Okay, now let's hop over to Survivor. We want Endurance. We want Runner. And of course, we want double jump. Um, we also want endurance. We want wanderlust, only because I need it to get up into here. Three percent chance to spawn a stamina orb when defeating an enemy with a bow. Yeah, I think we took that too. Uh, what's this? Health man and stamina orbs restore thirty percent instead, of, and 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 potions twenty percent. Yeah, definitely want that one. Uh, sweet tooth, we want. We want dexterity, we want dessert stomach, and endurance, and increased base stamina regenerate. Yeah, let's grab that one too. Uh, I didn't take arachnoid, that's climbing walls. All damage done from the back is increased by 30%. Yeah, I want that. Jump attack, no, I think that's more getting into melee. Okay, so, we, so that leaves us with five points. Um, we could take this endurance point, but I'm really actually interested, even though this is more into the magic tree, I'm actually interested in getting to blink. Uh, so that way we kind of teleport instead of dodge. Um, so to do that, we only need three instead of six seconds to revive an ally. No, that's a that's a group thing, which we don't want to do on our on this character because it's a single player. 
So we, we could increase our intelligence attribute by one and our magic damage by five per attribute point. I'm assuming that would apply to when we do occasionally use the wand. I guess. I don't know. Where was my attack? That would actually be good to have two, I think. Um, I mean, silent stride's not bad, but yeah, you know what? Let, let's work towards blink. And I wouldn't mind getting a, a you know a couple of the constitution ones as well, just for a little more health. But I think what we'll do is, so so we have you know we can either go this way or this way, right? So both of these are the same. Yeah, so those don't matter. It's just a matter of health gain from healing spells. So, oh, that actually would be well, good. That'd be good. What's this? What we gain twenty mana? Yeah, no, I think we definitely want to go this way. Okay, so let's do intelligence and healer. Um, yeah, so when we use, <coughs> excuse me, use our staff to heal ourselves, we'll get ten percent more healing, which is great. Uh, we kill an enemy with a magic weapon. You have a ten percent chance to summon a friendly skull companion. Okay, gain health gain from healing spells will be increased by additional twenty percent. Okay, we could keep that one in mind too. In fact, we could get it right now. Um, but I think what I want to do is I want to set on these last two points so that we can get blink when we get to two more points. And then um, emergency blink might be good, and blinking into an enemy triggers an explosion, which deals fire damage in a small range. Damage and mana cost scale with the intelligence attribute. Okay, that probably wouldn't do us a whole lot of good since we're not really focused on intelligence, but this, this one could be good. So we'll see, you know, we'll, this is definitely our next one, and then we'll see where we are after that. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're back in business with our combat-based skill points. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Let's go ahead and... How many arrows do I have? 171. Let's make a few more arrows. Uh, just so we have plenty to go around. Maybe we'll make 200 more of those. That gives us 371. That's good. And I'm going to put a couple of these things away. I We're going to also do... Uh, this quest here, a uh, crucial investigation, and I think I must have picked these up just by, you know, going out and about and grinding. Oh, speaking of which, I also, and I, honestly, I don't even remember exactly where I got this, but when I was out and about, you know, just grinding and killing enemies for metal scraps and stuff like that, I found this really cool legendary sword. Let's see if we can get it in the light so we can see it a little bit. So, yeah, it's, uh, the lighting's kind of weird on on this side, but it's basically kind of got like this gold filigree, you know, type of design on the handle hilt and upper part of the blade, and then a polished, you know, it's it's like a saber basically, and uh, you know, fully upgraded, it does forty damage. So this is a really really nice melee weapon. I should have paid attention to where I got this. I just don't remember. Um, but yeah, so I picked that up, and uh, so we have a really really nice melee weapon uh, that we have been using. Uh, okay, so yeah, I, had a, I have a couple things I want to put away. Let's get that done first, and then we will set out. And before we, we do the quest, I want to show you guys where where I'm thinking about for building our next base. And, you know, whether this base will always remain our main base or, you know, uh, I decide to move or have our main base in one of these three new locations uh, remains to be seen. So we'll see how that goes. I am... Hmm, it's, it's kind of starting to get dark. So I'll tell you what, let's... I'm going to wait till it gets dark, sleep, and then I'll meet you guys in the morning and we will go check those places out because... Well, where is the sun at? Yeah, it's, it's setting. So, okay, so I'll just see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is morning. Um, there's another thing I wanted to actually show you guys, too. Uh, chances are several of you already know about this, but uh, we're going to teleport to the Ancient Spire and the Revelwood, and I want to show you a huge, huge copper deposit that I found um, and uh, mined up. A, a very large portion of it. In fact, maybe almost all of that copper that I showed you 
uh, from this location. So we want to go west. And if we look at the map, we um, th this area here, this is Diadem where we found the half timbered blocks and uh, the carpenter's uh, carpenter cramp where we found something in a chest. I can't remember what it was. But just right over the edge of the cliff, right down in here, there's an enormous uh, copper deposit. So let me get um, my food buffs going here. Might as well grab a, a thingy here while we're at it. Okay, so this is Diadwin here. This is the carpenter's camp or carpentry camp, I should say. Um, oh, also, I uh, I I found out. You guys, some of you guys told me this in the comments, but um, if you take a pick to all the sticks in there, um, you can get a whole bunch of twigs. So, for in case some of you didn't know that, that is the deal. Will you guys get the hell out of here? Grab some of this stuff while we're here. I don't have a huge amount of metal scrap. And uh, yeah, there's a chest here. Oh, that's a pretty nice little collection of stuff there. If you dig this back up, um, the, the chest stays open, so you can't continue continually farm that. Well, that wasn't very good timing on my part. I'm not going to harvest those guys. I got so much meat and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, you get over to the edge of this cliff here. And, whoop, oh, <laughs> that deer went bailing off the edge. And, yeah, you just come right down here. Look at this thing, man. This thing is enormous, and it's a lot bigger... Uh, than it, than it, you just see right here because it goes underground. Here's a quick clip uh, of what it looks like when you mine it out. So yeah, lots and lots of copper here. Again, just just a little bit south and over the cliff from the carpenter camp. For those of you who may not know about. It. There you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go to three different places that I have uh, discovered that I would really like to potentially build the base. Um, I'm going to pick one of the three spots, not at all three spots. So the first one is way over here to the east, uh, next or, or near the Pillars of Creation, which will be the next zone that we'll be going to, I imagine, here pretty soon. Um, and I like this spot for a couple of reasons. One, it... Um, it already kind of comes with its own garden, right? Not not that that's that big of a deal. I mean, we can we can always make our own garden, but it's already here, you know, with the raised beds and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Um, and it has it it has a really nice um, overlook uh, over this cliff. Um, so what we could do is uh, this building I would I would tear down um, because I don't need it, and then we would build our own base. And, you know, even if we decided, for example, to move the villa here, um, what I would do is I would build the tower end of it, uh, or the second floor end of it, right on the edge of the cliff here, uh, or maybe do a little bit of terraforming and raise that up. Uh, and then we just have this really spectacular view uh, looking to the west there. Uh, the other thing that's nice about this spot is that there is there are a couple mines nearby. Uh, so we have clay right there. We have a big, f uh, what is it, Flintstone? Yeah, a big Flintstone mine down there. And I think maybe that's it. I thought there was maybe something else. So, uh, well, I guess that's Flintstone as well. Uh, so anyway, we have those two resources nearby. Not that that's that big a deal because, you know, we can always teleport and stuff. But, um, yeah, so let's kill this wolf here. And, uh, you know, just kind of down around the corner there, um, it starts heading more into the Pillars of Creation. Which, by the way, I have not gone into the Pillars of Creation. I'm not even, even actually uh, exactly sure how to, but I've purposefully avoided doing that because, of course, 
that's something I want to do on camera with you guys our first time into the new region. Uh, which I'm assuming, you know, one of our upcoming quests will probably lead us there. So this is the first place I'm considering. Uh, really like it. It's kind of a nice area. Uh, now, the second place is actually just right across the way here on that, you know, bluff up there. Uh, which I have, you know, I've already climbed these and put, as you can see, uh, altars so we can fast travel to them. Um, this place and this new place here isn't too difficult to get to, but the third place I'm, I'm going to show you is a bit of a pain in the butt to climb up. Uh, so this is basically two um, separate, you know, kind of like buttes, if you will. Excuse me, or plateaus. This is actually underneath the mountain. Um, but so we have this area or this area that we could we could potentially build in. Um, and I kind of like... I kind of like over here a little bit better just because it's it's more timbered. We'd have to, you know, be careful to try and preserve the trees as much as possible. But we have a, a relatively flat little plateau up here uh, that we could, you know, plop a nice little house down right in the middle of the place. Uh, again, trying to leave most of the of the trees intact as much as we can do that. Uh, so this is a, a second spot I'm thinking about. Um, that little place down there is called Fort Kelvin, and it's got a bunch of the uh, the hairy guys. What are they called? Start with the V. I can never remember what the hell they're called. Um, and it's also got a little altar where you can go and get their buff too. Uh, so yeah, so that that's the that spot. And um, you know the other thing we could do too is we could potentially maybe build on both of these, put the main house on one and then, I don't know, a barn on the other one. Not that we really necessarily need a barn in this game. Hopefully someday they will make it to where we can, you know, have mounts and raise animals. I've, I've heard that that is in the works. I haven't looked at any roadmaps myself, but I've heard that future versions of the game will actually have animal husbandry, which will be really cool. Uh, so yeah. All right, the last spot we're going to look at is way up on that hill, uh, but on the on the north face of it. And this one's a little tougher to, to, to get up. You can do it, obviously, you can do it, uh, but it's not, not an easy climb. Um, so let's go check this one out. Okay. So once again, um, there, there isn't really anything higher up. That, that's just a, if you look at the topographical map here, it's just a, a very sharp little peak. So there's not really any area up there to build. But you've got a nice, nice little flat plateau right here um, that we could build on uh, with a really amazing view, you know, over the edge of the cliff. Look at those mountains over there. That is awesome. So uh, this would be the third potential place that I would uh, consider building a base. So anyway, let me know in the comments uh, what you guys, which of the three areas you guys like and, and what you like about it. And I'll, um, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm about six or seven episodes ahead of you guys right now. Uh, but you will catch up to me because uh, next week, today is February the 15th. I have to be gone for a whole week um, on a work, work business trip. Um, so by the time I get back, you guys will pretty much be caught up to me. So I won't do any building, you know, any new building locations until I hear back from you guys in the comments. So, I, so basically what I'm asking is let me know which of these three spots you like. Do you like the spot that's way over to the east here um, that has the, you know, the kind of already built in farm that looks out over the cliff? Do you like the spot that's further to the north that has the two plateaus that we could, you know, uh, potentially build on uh, with the little timbered area? Or do you like this one? that I'm on right now uh, that's pretty high up and has a spectacular view to the north. Uh, so let me know which one you guys like, and then we'll we'll decide, you know, what we'll do uh, when I get back from my trip. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into here. And um, I've had this crucial investigation on the map for quite some time. Where are these in relation, though? Okay, so the crucial investigation thing is way up here at this Glenwood's Inn, and I put a. I didn't go into Glenwood's Inn. I just went up there and put a, an altar down, so we can go straight there. Um. So yeah, let's. Uh, whoops. Where is? 
Is that what I just looked at? We got we get some kind of a ring. Okay, so that is at Willow Crush. This has some kind of a chest. Oh, that's in Pike's Meat. Uh, or Pike's Meat, Pike Mead's Reach, rather. Way, way the hell back over there. And there's still a few more things over here that we haven't done either. Okay, how about we do this? Let's go... Um, okay, let's look at that again. That's at Willow Crush there. That's the Rebel Wood. Let's go knock that one out really quick. And then we'll do um, the the quest that's up to the north. So we want to uh, jump down to the south here. Let me look at the map again for a second. So we're, we're going to... Won't this old... Here, we'll look crush right there. Okay. So... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to fly back to where we just were at that copper deposit and then there's a bridge that crosses here into willow crush so uh let's let's head on over there All right, we are here in Willow Crush. Get rid of those bees. Um, the remains of an unfortunate distillery diver were brushed beneath the floorboards of the Willow Crush grind mill. Find the spot and dig for loot. Okay, so it's going to be underneath one of these mills. Is it this spot right here? There we go. Ring of Rapacity. Minus 20 mana, plus 20 mana regeneration. Um, I don't think that that's really going to do us a damn bit of good. Um, I did, by the way, though, find... We got that when we, when we killed the dragon. I found this alchemist ring somewhere, just out about doing stuff, uh, which is pretty nice. Um... Plus six mana, eight stamina, and t ten health. I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it. It seems like it, you know, taking twenty mana away. I know twenty plus twenty mana regeneration is really nice. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is worth it. Who knows? Okay, so that takes care of that quest. Um, this is a pretty big place. It takes a while to kill all the guys, but it's a really good place to come for scrap metal but i don't think we need to do that right now so um tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back home drop stuff off repair do all that stuff and then i will meet you guys up here to go into glenwood's end to do that next quest all right we are here we're going to do a crucial investigation uh, Glenwood's End has fallen to scavengers. Defeat the scavenger matron to cleanse the town and claim your trophy. So it looks like this is just going to be another uh, scavenger matron boss. Let's do that. And then what we're going to do is start, you know, take a whole new batch of quests from our, um, our craftsmen. There's probably 
um, a decent amount of uh, oh metal straps in here. Got a, a rat down there. Whoa! Chased me all the way out of the house. Rude. Anything significant down here? There's some metal. All right, well, there's a bed we can sleep in if we're still here by the time it gets dark. I'm not going to loot that rat. Before we go that way, let's check this house out real quick. A little area with some palisade walls over there. Kill the rats. Break the door down. There's probably going to be more rats down here. Yep. I'm just using the torch so we have light, of course. Some metal. Uh, sometimes these rooms, there's another room off to the side there, but I know I'm not seeing that. So right, go upstairs. Get out of here! Get out of here! You're going. Wait a minute. This is our place. You get out of here. Anything significant there? Okay. I think that's pretty much it for this house. All right, let's take a look over here. dead guy down there and we got the poison plants I think I'm gonna melee this guy whoops The poison sacks. Get the loot from that one. What is in here? A little chest with some grenade thingies. What's back here? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Okay. Can I get up? Get up there? Doesn't look like it. Let's go back this way again. Okay, I see an explosive over there. Oh, you're right there. Stamina orb.
Loot this guy. Let's see what's up here. What? That was weird. It wouldn't let me keep climbing. Uh, am I supposed to be able to get up there? I guess so. There's a, some grappling thingies there. Another poison plant. Look at that big thing. Oh, there's a there's a workbench, but not usable by us. Hmm. That looks important. Just leads back out to here. Okay, let's go back down here for a second. Ouch. Oh, it's time to uh, rebuff. Um, is there anything down here? There's a chest. And a boom boom. What we could do is use the boom boom. To blow all that up and then we can loot it more easily. There we go. Okay, how's our rested doing? 34. Yeah, you know what though? Um I think I'll just go back home since we can come back here very quickly. So I'll meet you guys back here in the morning. Okay, we are back. Um This is quite the place. there's anything in there. There's one of those dual wielding guys. Oh shit. Oh you stupid wolf. Take a potion. Uh, let's take this potion. Okay. Um, where did that guy go? I must have already looted him. I want to see... What's in here? stuff. Get the thingy. Turn that into that. Gonna delete that. I got too much but already. Likewise with the bones. We'll keep the rest of that for now. Alright. A cool looking hearth. Anything over here? Guess it's the kitchen area. Well, at least the place is well lit. Oh. Yeah, you can't cancel that. When you guys were telling me just to break the the door open and save a lockpick. Uh, Alright, what's this say? 
The crimes of Glenwood's End, His Excellency the Benevolent King Gormander demands justice for the murder of the Royal Inquisitor Laclan. The delivery of his severed head to the King's Court was an act of aggression that will follow with swift punishment. May the King's retribution be a swift lesson that the laws of Embervale still prevail. Okay. Um, did that give us a new quest by chance? Uh, no, it didn't. Okay. Well, there's our lockpick back, so that's nice. Uh, Alright, let's see what is going on in here. Besides a rat. Oh, this is just the bathroom. Okay. What's that, a bone? Yeah, I don't want a bone. Let's go upstairs and see what's going on up there. Crossed to the other way there. Nothing to loot on those cases. Hey, cut that out. Somebody shot an arrow at me. What oh, was you? We got a level, nice. Oh, you know what that means? That means we can do blink now. All right, watch me get myself killed with this now because I'm not used to it. <laughs> right off, right over the edge of the cliff. Oh, this is going to be cool, man. It doesn't seem to cost anything either. Well, it costs stamina. Okay, so yeah, but so does you know just normal. Rolling around too. Oh, that's gonna be neat. I'm gonna. I think this is gonna be fun. Okay, cool. All right, let's go back up here. Um. So I guess that's it. Oh no, there's another area up here. We got a potion and another note. Look at that bed too. From from investigator. Lachlan, I thought he was an inquisitor. My illustrious king, I write with troubling tidings. Glenwood's end is falling to ruin. It is as if a great cloud of sickness and decay has settled over the principality. The people have let their homes, roads, and daily way of life crumble. All this due to a substance they consumed called the elixir. I have taken samples from an illegal distillery and I am currently studying them. This elixir seems to make monsters out of men, so I have bolted my door at night. All right, so this was dude's room. Uh, did that give us another quest? Nope. Hmm. Okay. What have we got in here? Nothing that I can see. Is there a way to get up there? There sure is. And we got a chest. More explosives. And looks like that's it. Yeah, I don't think we can get up that way. Okay. All right, let's um continue on here. This is just kind of one of those casual episodes where we check the place out. And where the... Wait a minute. Where the hell am I at? Am I on the other side of the building? Oh, okay, now I know where I'm at. I, I was I got disoriented for a second there. Okay, let's go in here.
This is a really neat place, man. Probably the... Uh, aside from Pike Mead's Reach, the, definitely the largest town we've been to so far. Got a big old battle up here. All right. Um, is there an upper floor that we can investigate? Yeah, right here. All right, not really seeing a whole lot here. Um, what is this? Where does this take us? Back up to here. Along the ramparts. Let's go in this way. Is there anything down here? There's some traps. No, aim at that. There we go. Well, that didn't do jack diddly squat. What if you could... Oh, wow. What if you could use... Blink to get to other... Places that you couldn't get to before. Is this just another way to get in here? It looks like it probably is. Okay. Like the back way. Um, have we... I don't think we've been in this house. Wait, what? No. Go up the stairs. Oh shit. Spiders. All right, nothing out here. If I look up, can I blink upward? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. There we go. Really? That's it? All that effort just for that, huh? Okay. So we were in here. This is where we came through. That sounds like a big old meanie. Just a lot of place to explore here. What's in here? A chest. With more explosives. This game sure likes to give you explosives. Not saying that's a bad thing. Just an observation. Alright. We got a guy with a bow shooting. Alright, got both of them. Is that a... No. I thought maybe it was um, a grappling thingy. What's down here? I don't think we've been down here, have we?
Just so much stuff to to look at, man. All right, let's go back this way. Uh, actually, no, let's go this way. Uh, too bad that didn't work. Could re repair our stuff. This is the the jail. How oh, you like my blink, man? I bet you can't do that. You know, you can't do anything at all anymore. Okay, um... Was there anything in here? Not that I can see. There we go. Beautiful. We were over here earlier, I think. Yeah, we killed that dog. Let's go up. That's it? That's all you got, huh? Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get up any higher going this way. Well, actually, hold on. Well, there's nothing up there anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Anything in here? Not that I can tell. Okay, let's go this way. Oh. Rude. Oh, I love that blink, man. He did. This goes up to uh, flame altar, or shrine rather. Okay, we'll take that. Don't see anything up there. Nothing in here. Too many places, like I said, to explore. <laughs> uh, there's some metal. Were we? We came out that door earlier. Yeah. Okay. Then let's go this way. Is that the big meaning we're supposed to fight? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're at the boss. All right, let's um, do that. We still have our elixir buff going. Um, let's also take one of those. I doubt we'll need it, but we will anyway. Take it anyway. All right. Hold still, so I can kill you. All right, where's Big Meanie? Oh, there they are. You did. That was easy peasy. Whoa, shit. Ooh, what do we have here? 
arsonist bow. We've already had that. Um, it's a level 15. I wish that um, the level would would stay its original level, just so you, you can compare. But I'm going to say this is probably the same arsonist bow. Okay, now wait a minute. This is a blue one. And this is a legendary. So once this gets upgraded... Um... I don't know. I mean, I've got gobs and gobs of runes, so we could upgrade it just to see what it does. Okay. And here's our gold chest. With a ghostly shield, level 15. Okay. That's, we'll hang on to that. Probably never use it, but you never know. All right, is there anything more to explore in this place? We got some upper areas, but I don't see any grappling options. Uh, how would we get up there? Doesn't really work too well, does it? Is there a ladder? Maybe we're not supposed to get up there. Okay, well, I don't know. Possible that we could get up there, but... What's that? That is, it's some kind of metal looking thing. Hmm. I know there's I know there's tin in the game, but I don't think we get run it get to that till we get to the next um, you know, region. Hmm. Alright, let's look at our quests. Gormander's Imperial Gardens. I guess we could mark that. I'm. What is that, man? Can is there any way to get up there? I'm just curious. I'm a curious old guy. been here, right? Alright, if we go... Oh, you know what I think that is? That's probably just a stone with some snow texture on it. Now that I see it from down here. It looked like it was completely metallic earlier, though. Okay, so that, um... I think pretty much concludes this area. <laughs> ah, I love it. We didn't go in here. There doesn't appear to be anything in here. What's in here? I think we were in here earlier, but we're just on the other side. Yeah, pretty sure we were. through there. Oh yeah, right, because I was looking at, at that thing in my doodle. Ah, 
All right, so, um, what is this all about? Just a treasure. It's way over there. Let's just run over and grab it real quick, because why not? Then we'll have, then we'll have a, a fresh set of quests to do. Okay, so this place sucks. Um, this is where I found the my saber sword too. I just don't remember exactly where. So let's repop our stuff. We still have flask of the fill. Uh, sorry, flask of the fill and elixir buff going on. But I think what I'm gonna do is take one of these. Because we are going to be in a lot of shroud in here. Get rid of that. Okay. Stay away from me, meanies. Hey, bet you can't do that, banshee lady. Or whatever the hell you are. Okay. No, get out of here, bugs. I don't want to mess with you. What the hell's down here? I don't think I've ever been... Oh, shit, more bugs. I don't think I've ever been down here before. Leave me alone, bugs. There we go. Nope. Okay. We got a spark up here. Beautiful. Okay, so we need to go that way. I, I don't know what these other two things are. see if there's a high road we can take. Is that a different route than the one we killed before, or is it the same one? I think, I think it's the same one. Ow. Yeah, it's the same one, but you know what? We should be able to get a another point if we kill it again. I think. And I hate it when he does that. No, turn the other way. There we go. Oh, it doesn't give us another point. Oh, man. That sucks. This only happens the first time. Okay. This is where we pick up the kettle. Uh, we should be able to get another point there. I believe we read this last time we were here, so you can pause the screen if you want to see what it has to say. There's another... Flask of the... Uh, f I don't know why I keep saying flask. Flask of the fell. If I told you guys how much I love this blink, it is absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, let's go this way. Not that way. This way. need to go north to get to our destination. Oh, 
Ooh. This this is maybe where I found that sword in the I it was I think it was in a gold chest somewhere in this city. And of course, you know, the chest can have random things in it. What is these what does this say? Good folk, heed this warning. Skimmer's Cove crumbles and roars. King Gormander's Imperial Guard suspects an impending collapse. Refrain from visiting the cove or venture forth at your own risk. Search and rescue operations cannot be performed under the war subsidies. Furthermore, stay clear of the coast at night. Reports confirm strange vibrations in the water, as well as moving lights. However, King Gormander wants to reassure you personally that sightings of an aquatic beast remain unfounded. Pike Mead's Reach is as safe as can be. Hmm. What's this say? Glory rises from the depths once more. Dearest people, hear my tale. It is true, they've returned. I've seen the wisps with my own eyes, down by the white wind shores, brighter than ever before. They've returned to bring glorious light from the depths, hailing from the cove. Do not fret. They are our reptilian brothers, glistening scaly backs peek out from beneath the waters, ready to carry you to safe shor safer shores. Good fortune must be upon us. Our war will end. The craze for the elixir will subside. The water and rain will clear and the soil stop to sour. Good omens are all around. I wonder if they're probably talking about the wisp wyvern. I'll bet you. Oh man, it's starting to get dark. It's starting to get dark. We need to find a bed somewhere. I don't want to go all the way back and come through here again. Ooh, there's another. Now that, I haven't chopped that one down, so that that's a point for us. Um, How do we get in there? There's a fell thunder brute dude what's that I don't know I just collected something I don't know what it was uh, I want to I want to take that root out let's um take one of these are we anywhere near our actual quest quest oh that's where that the root okay so that's the root what's this a scattered legacy Gormander's Imperial Gardens. Uh, what's in here? Hmm. That is not what I wanted to do. Try this again. There. I want to see if there's a way to get to that root. There's a bad guy over there. dead he's not dead yet we can cheese this fell thunderbird guy a little bit here okay let's refresh this and this and I'm going to take one of these, so we're 30% stronger. And let's jump down here. We'll grab this. Oh, god damn it. I hate it when I have the wrong toolbar out. Hey, cut that out. Hey, that's cheating. He says the guy who jumped up on the ledge so the fell dickweed can't get me. Yeah, this is cheese. But whatever it takes, right? Let's 
Scorching Mace. Okay. Let's go down here. And didn't I kill another guy down here? I don't know. There's something else over there. What are you? Oh, there you go. All right, let's take this thing out. And this one. Okay, I think we're safe to kill the root off. Nice. And there's our skill point. Excellent. The invaders have taken the square. The foot soldiers must be marching to the harbor, encroaching on the gate, no doubt. I am blessed to have made it to my hidden attic on time. I can't see from here, but I hear them. Their lord, the guard of the north, is chanting, something dark and tainted. The sky outside moves. No, it's the clouds. A misty veil with strips of color. Blue light. Colored blue light. What on earth? I'm peeking now. I see it. The cobblestones rip open like foul flesh. He's removing his gloves. By the ancients, his hands. They look frozen and dead, like preserved rotten meat. Is he raising something from below? I can't see. I have to lean a little further. All right, what's in here? And or guard of the north gloves. Magic damage, ra range damage. Oh, we might need to look at those. Okay, um, I was going to look at this too. Oh, I have never even upgraded that. So, yeah, the one we have is definitely better. That's 92 runes, too. That's really nice. I don't care about this. Let's just salvage it right off the off the bat here. But um, let's go to character gloves. So this gives 12, 12. Okay, so the physical and magical resistance is the same. The, uh, what? Why is that showing my backpack? I don't know, that's weird. So that gives 4% skill shot damage. This gives 4 range damage. Oh, but it takes it takes away a minute of time in the shroud. That's not the best. But we could just take them off when we go in the shroud. We just have to um, you know, keep a take up an extra slot. But that might be worth worth doing. I think it maybe it is. All right, let's go back to here. We got this scattered legacy business. And this is the one we're supposed to be doing. But new stuff keeps... Oh, okay. New stuff keeps coming up. So um, we are definitely out of time here, guys. So I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And then... Um, and go back home. And then uh, what I'm going to do is... looking to see if there's anything in here. Um, I'm going to start taking new quests from our crafts, our craftsmen, our NPCs, uh, so that we can start advancing more with them. And I'm hoping at some point, you know, in doing that, it'll lead us to the new new zone. Tin copper arrows. That's nice. Poison arrows, rather. So, yeah. Alright, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.